today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the coefficient of variation in Python. We're going to be covering through a few different libraries. We're going to start off with NumPy, then we're going to take a look at SciPy, and then we're going to finish this video with Pandas. Uh, there are some traps associated with the coefficient of variation. Really depends on how you calculate your standard deviation, whether you use population or sample. And many libraries in Python have their own defaults. So I'll be going over those as well in this video. But before we do jump into some coding, let's take a look at even more information on the coefficient of variation. All right, so let's take a look at the coefficient of variation. Uh, sometimes this will be labeled as CV. So essentially the coefficient of variation is a statistical measure that represents the ratio of your standard deviation to the mean. Uh, you can take a look at the, the calculation down below. It's pretty simple. You take your standard deviation, you divide by mean, and then you get this into a percentage. That's usually how it's represented. So you just times it over here by 100%, and that is your CV. What the nice thing about CV is it's unitless. So essentially you can compare the variability of two different data set. Um, one thing to mention too is it's not best to use this when there is a mean close to zero um, because your values are going to be a bit off. So if you have mean close to zero, don't use the coefficient of variation. And just a little bit more information over here on this side is a higher CV means you have more variation while lower CV means more consistency, closer mean. Uh, for example, CV at 10% means that the standard deviation is 10% of the mean. Uh, let's go through two quick examples real quick. You guys remember from my standard deviation video, and if you haven't watched it, no big deal, but there's two different types of standard deviation. There's population and sample. So those are gonna skew the different results on here, um, depending what you use, right? And different libraries in Python have different defaults, whether you use population or sample. So we're gonna go through a lot of those in the video. Um, but for example, population, right? You find the mean first. So mean is gonna be the same between both. Add all the numbers, divide by length. Then you find the standard deviation. Once you take your individual number, in this case, 55 minus the mean, you square it. Uh, population, at the very end, once you add up all these numbers squared, um, you divide by the length, whereas sample, you divide by the length minus one. Then you take the square root of each of these because if you don't, you'd have the variance. And then sample, I got 97%, uh, population 91%. There's a little bit difference depending on how you rounded your numbers throughout. So that's why I just put it to the um, nearest whole number. But regardless, that is the basics of coefficient of variation. Let's take a look at the Python code. All right, so what we're gonna start off with is bringing in some imports. So we're gonna import in numpy as np. Then next we're gonna say from scipy.stats import variation. variation. And then lastly, import pandas as pd. Run the cell and we are good to go. So first thing we're gonna have to do is set up our example data. So what we call is just data equals, and we're gonna have a list over here. Now, I am just gonna put in a bunch of numbers by spamming my keyboard, two digit numbers, and uh, nothing really too special about these numbers. So you can use whatever numbers you want, but uh, not the same numbers that I put in my example code. All right. So I'm good with these over here. Again, don't copy. If you want to copy, go ahead, but uh, save yourself. All right, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take a look at NumPy. Now, example number one, NumPy by default takes a look at the population. So let's label this as population and uh, our example two is gonna look at sample in NumPy, but let's start off here. So one thing that's gonna be the same between both is gonna be how we calculate the mean. All you have to do is mean equals np.mean and then throw your data in over here. And there you go. Our mean is now done. If we wanna see what our mean looks like, print this out, go over here to mean and 45.85. Awesome. Now what we're gonna have to do is take a look at our standard deviation. And uh, what I'm gonna just do is std dev, we'll say np pop. We're gonna say this equal to np.std, then throw in our data over here, great, and then print out our standard deviation, and check it out, 23.9. Now, lastly, what we're gonna do is just set up our CV. So CV, NumPy, and our pop is gonna be equal to, and what we're gonna do over here is we're gonna divide. So we're gonna divide first is our standard deviation, so divide standard deviation, divided by our mean, which we already have here. 
and then multiply this by 100. And let's print this out. So prints and our CV NumPy over here is 52.27%. Now let's take a look at our example two. So example two, which is NumPy. And this time we're gonna look at samples. So a lot of the code's gonna be the same. We just have some small variation on here. So first thing we do is grab our standard deviation. So instead of pop here at the very end, let's just call the sample like that. And then we keep our data in here. The only difference is we add in another parameter. So we're gonna say DDOF equals one. And remember sample, we just subtract one uh, based off of our population size. So that's why we have the one over here. And then all we have to do is calculate this. So we'll say CV, well, first, before we do that, let me just print this out to show you that these are two different results. So our standard deviation sample 25.89 versus 23.97. Okay, now all we have to do is CV NumPy, and we'll call this as sample over here. Take your NumPy sample, divide by mean times 100. Let's print that one out. Prints, grab that over here and Boom, there we go, 56.46 in comparison to 52.2. Sweet. Now let's take a look at SciPy. So NumPy, right, pretty basic to calculate both of these. SciPy, you can do this in one step, but we're only gonna be taking a look at population. So we'll say SciPy example three. And all we have to do on this one is CV SciPy. And I'm gonna say this is gonna be our population, so pop equals, and all you have to do is grab variation, which we brought in as an import data, then multiply this by 100 and get our final results. So print this out. And just to confirm that this is pop, right? 52.27, you can see sample got 56. If we go back to our NumPy pop, right? Which was our first example, uh, we get 52.27. So we have confirmed that one line is super nice rather than building this out for NumPy. So if you wanna grab pop, which I uh, didn't mark this over here, uh, do that. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at example four, which is pandas. So example four, which is pandas, which this one looks at sample, right? Um, okay, so first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna create a data frame based off of what we built out. Before we do that, I'm gonna say data pre -DF. Let's create this into a dictionary. So we're gonna call the, the one column values. So put values in over here, then colon, we're gonna put in data. Now, what we're gonna do after that is we're gonna create a new data frame. So df equals pd.dataframe, and we're gonna pass in this dictionary that we have over here. Great. Now, what we're gonna do is just do a df.head just to make sure that this is working properly and check it out, values, awesome. So that is working properly on that side of things. Now let's just do our mean df. So mean df equals, we'll just say df values because we're looking at that column and just do dot mean. Now it's gonna be the same value that we got earlier for the mean, but I just wanted to show you what this looked like on the pandas side of things. So we're gonna print out our mean df. And uh, now we're gonna do the standard deviation. So same exact code, we just change mean to STD over here. And actually I messed up because I should label this as mean ST, or not mean STD, sorry, STD DF like that. Um, I'm just gonna rerun this code over here so we don't have anything weird, right? So 45.58, awesome. Uh, STD DF over here. And let's print out that over here as well, just to confirm. And again, this is our sample. So 25.89, let's just confirm that really quick. So if we go back up over here to NumPy example two, which is sample 25.89. So that has been confirmed to be correct. And lastly, what we're gonna have to do is find our CV. So I'll just say CV PD equals, and then just divide, right? Standard deviation divided by our mean. And we're gonna just times that by 100 times 100. And uh, lastly, we're gonna print that out. So print and print out the CVPD, 56.46. And we go over here to our sample. So pop 52, but our sample 56.46. And uh, yeah, that lines up. So just to recap this video one more time, 
When you are you know, calculating your coefficient of variation, please confirm if you're going to be using sample or population because that is going to impact your standard deviation. So probably one of the first things that you want to find out before running this calculation, mean is going to be the same between both of them. It's really easy to calculate. And then all you got to do, take your standard deviation, divide it by the mean, and multiply by 100. Showed you NumPy, we could do both ways. On our SciPy side things, it's one line, but only grabs pop. And then pandas by default is going to go and grab the sample. So if you are using SciPy or pandas, know what your defaults are. Same with NumPy, um, but you can change those pretty easily. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you are brand new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading two to three data science focused videos every single week. This video is focused on statistics. I have a few other statistics videos down below in the description, as well as a playlist right over here. So make sure to check those out.